All right, guys. Can you figure out what I'm about to cook with this? I am making, don't mind the candy jar in the back. I am making salmon croquette, salmon patties, whatever one you call it, around to the end so you can see the finished product. I'm just relaxing today, cooking something easy again. Got the candle going. Well, yeah, I got that from TJ Maxx. <laughs> All right. All right. This is how small I'm cutting up my onions. I'm going to cut up my vegetables that small too because I like the flavors in there, but yet I don't want to chew down on big pieces of onions and vegetables. And my minced garlic is already minced. As you can see, I use this quite often. Got a new bottle in the refrigerator, but yeah. All right. I have all my vegetables cut up. Now these three eggs, I have three, just in case I need them. I normally start off with two, and then I'll just use three if it's not the right consistency that I want it. And right now I got all my seasonings in there. I got my uh, minced garlic in there too. So just about to mix all of this together. Then I gotta add my breadcrumbs. This is one of those situations where you gotta dig in with your hands. It's just the way you do some things when you're cooking. I already got the eggs in there. I had the breadcrumbs. I added a little bit of parsley in there too, dried parsley. So you gotta get in. My hands are clean. Just wash them. Just gotta get in there. Mix it up. And see right now, it's feeling a little too wet so I just gotta add more breadcrumbs and you just do it to how you if you feel it if you could see this is too wet you need something to bind it together so gotta add more breadcrumbs and I'll show y'all when I start putting the patties together I end up having to add my other egg some more breadcrumbs We'll see how that goes. See the nice pretty colors in there? That's really the only reason I use different colors. You don't have to. I normally use green onion and just regular onions and that's it. But sometimes I like to have, you know, the bell pepper flavor in there. But that's it. I'm just making them into little balls. This is how they should look. They shouldn't be flimsy, looking like they're getting ready to break. See, you can toss them, still have its texture, its shape. That's got the oil heating up. There will three patties, I'm only gonna do three at a time. This ends in a big pan. But look at them, they're beautiful, look at them. All right. Getting ready to put them in the oil. So I like mine a little dark because I don't like them mushy. So I like a little crunch when you bite into it and then soft on the inside. That's how I like mine. And I'm getting ready to put them here on this plate with a napkin in there. All right. Got the new ones in there. Getting ready to flip these here shortly. And voila. There we have it. Let me open one up for you. Let's see. Mm, look at that. Perfect. Perfect, I tell you. Perfect. That's done. And make sure you clean up afterwards. This is for the guys, because I know us girls already know this. Clean up your kitchen afterwards. These are clean. <laughs>